Hello, wizards and witches! Have you ever found yourself lost in the magical maze of Harry Potter Magic Awaken, desperately wishing you had a spell to conjure up the perfect deck? Wondering if echoes are just magical whispers or something more? Or perhaps you've attempted to build a deck but ended up with more questions than ever before. Well, wade your wands with excitement because you've just landed at the enchanting crossroads of Hogwarts Wisdom. Welcome to our magical gaming haven where we unravel the secrets of the ultimate Harry Potter deck. Stick around because by the end of this adventure, you'll be casting spells and constructing a Harry Potter deck like a true charms master. In the current version of Harry Potter Magic Awaken, the Harry Potter deck is the best free-to-play deck in the game. Others may argue that it might be the Hermione or Dobby deck. Um, no. It is the Harry Potter deck without a doubt. Here's why. The Harry Echo, which is basically the echo you use for building a Harry Potter deck, boosts all cards damage or healing points as long as the card cost is at 3 MP or lower. This leaves us with a lot of cards to choose from when we'll building the harry potter deck this also means that even if you run out of ruby keys or gold keys as long as you have silver keys and a good amount of luck which i don't you'll still be able to level up your low cost cards to a decent level so with all those mumbo jumbo intro out of the way here are the 10 things you should know when building a harry potter deck number one never use more than one high cost mp card by high cost i mean Cards that are 4 MP and above, like Thunderstorm, or Orb of Water, or Atmosphere Charm. Well, mostly the legendary cards. Number 2. You can break the previous rule if you're adding Fluffy or the Blast Ended Screw card. Fluffy is the three-headed dog card, by the way. Also, both cards reduce 1 MP for every spell card or movement card used, respectively. And it's good to use them as shields. Wait. Did I just see shields? I meant distractions. Sorry, Fluffy. Number 3. Always save your broomstick card for escaping high damaging spells like Obscurious or Incendio. Yep, flying away from those spells are much better than just running away from them, especially if you're in the middle of the spell's range. Number 4. A Pogno is the best partner card for the broomstick card. This is actually a common scenario in the game, so if you're not using the combo of Pogno and the Broomstick, just try it! Number 5. Use Side Along Apparition to escape from high damaging spells and summons. This is a good card if you're also trying to save your companions like Lottie or Kevin, and it heals a bit of HP too. Number 6. Expulso can help interrupt Orb of Water. Number 7. Inflators and Incarcerous can help bind opponents in one place. Number 8. Nebulous can hide you from opponents and heal you. Also, it's a great counter for the Thunderstorm and Atmospheric Charm cards. Number 9. Pick Essence of Dittany or Episky, but never both. Unless you're a good heal staller, just pick one healing card for your deck. Number 10. The Witch Noble card is the highest damaging low-cost MP spell card. It takes a while getting used to it, and I admit it's very hard to control. But it's an amazing card for the Harry Potter deck once you master the timing to use it. Or you could just use the Incarcerous card to bind your opponents before throwing large snowballs at them. Last and most importantly, number 11. Don't panic and be patient. If you're not cool with prolonging the battle, or you want to use high damaging spells more often, then this deck is not for you. Sounds harsh? But it's true, it's frustrating to use low-cost MP cards when they're bombarding you with Obscuriouses, Orbs of Water, and Crucios. Believe me, I know. I almost threw my phone out of frustration when practicing this deck months ago, but it's worth it when you finally master it. Also, here's some deck recommendations for the Harry Potter Echo. Number 1. Fox Reincarnation. Get it, Wish? Cause Fox is a phoenix and he reincar- Never mind. Using the phoenix card, which reincarnates three times before going back to your hand, 
guarantees that you can quickly shuffle through your remaining cards. 2. Full low cost, using only 3 MP and lower cards. This way, you will be able to use the effects of Harry Echo more efficiently. 3. 1 high MP only. For this deck, you only need one high MP spell card, like Thunderstorm, Tego Diabolica, Sectum Sempra, or Confringo, and the rest will be 3 MP cards and lower. These deck recommendations ensure that you are maximizing the increase in damage or healing that the Harry Potter Echo is known for. So that's it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and tap in the notification bell so you'll get updated on our next videos. If there's anything you want us to cover about the game, feel free to comment down below. Until then, this is Swish, and I'm Kaz, and, and we're, we're logging, logging off. off.